Terry, it was a pretty long deadline day with, with two in and, and two out. We start with the ones that were incoming first. How pleased are you with the two lads you've been able to bring in? Really pleased. Um, Matty Virtue, we've tracked him for a long time. Um, captain of Liverpool's 23s. Great kid. Uh, I know the coach there at the 23s of Liverpool, uh, Neil Critchley, very well. Worked with him before and he tells me what a great lad he is. And he puts it in every day and all that. So he's the right type. And um, you know those types can get better, in my opinion, with the league games under the belt. He's 21, he's a great age, and uh, really pleased to have him. And then uh, Anthony Evans, I've known for a long time. Um, lives by me in Liverpool. I've watched his progress. Um, I think he's a hell of a talent. Um, you know, he just needs the games now. He's, he went on loan as an under-18 player to Morecambe and played league football. Uh, you know, as a second-year scholar which is a bit unique really uh, and I think it's the right time for him now um, to, go, to go and play league football in League One. Uh, he's, he's a, he can score and he can make goals and uh, he's a good size, he's a lovely footballer and really looking forward to watching both of them uh, on Bloomfield. As well as knowing both of them more or less, you, you, as a coaching staff you watch a lot of under 23 football and you've seen a lot of both of them this season. Yeah, you know, the under-23 football is different to league football because it's a bit tippy-tappy and all that, but um, you know, really do believe that these lads are, are the right types um, that are going to make an impact. Um, it's exciting. We'll only, we'll only know with time. Uh, time will tell. Um, but I think we've made two great additions there to the squad. In terms of the incomings overall this window, it's a very youthful-looking squad in terms of the additions, but you're used to working with young talent and, and seeing them develop. Yeah, we, yeah, that's right. We the we've got younger, um, but I think with that you it brings enthusiasm, you know, and um, uh, Elias and Naya their enthusiasm the other night, and um, these two young lads their enthusiasm and they're desperate to play league football. Um, hence, that's why they've come, and uh, you know um, it's exciting to uh, the, the prospect of watching them, and uh, hopefully they do well for us. Just in terms of the outgoing yesterday, Joe Bunny and, and John O'Sullivan both desperate to play football. Great lads, you know. Uh, Joe Bunny just hasn't worked out for him here. You know, you'd have to say the form of Mark Bowler has, has limited his opportunities, but you know he's he's been a really good professional and trained well, and um, so we wish him all the best. He just wants to play, so hopefully he can play more games now. At Rochdale, and then John O, you know, love him to bits. Um, He's an enthusiast. He, his, his, his enthusiasm is, uh, is outstanding. A great kid. Everyone likes him, and what he needs to do now is just go and play games. He hasn't, you know, he was injured last year. For quite a lot of it hasn't had a run of games with us because it's the way it is. Um, so really wish both of them the best of luck, and uh, and be watching, you know, see how they progress. The biggest thing you wanted to address this window was the, the sort of lack of goals, get more firepower, more options. Do you think you've done that then? I, I really do, but again, time tell, time will tell. You know, Longy, Elias, um, Naya, and um, Anthony for sure. Matty, obviously, more of a midfield player. Um, <coughs> that should help us with the, uh, the making and the scoring of goals.